I'm Jennifer Nicole Stang, and I was producer and cinematographer on Englishman in LA. Well, how I got involved with Englishman uh, is a very funny story because um, one of the actresses in Englishman, Joanna Janitakis, she, we were following each other completely, just randomly following each other on Instagram, and she approached me about a project that she was involved in, and usually I don't uh, agree to meet people through social networking, <laughs> but I had a really good feeling about it, and then I met Joanna, and I met um, Cassandra, and I met Cameron, and I just got along with them so well, and it just seemed very natural. Tom Dingle is an egotistical asshole. No, he's actually not. I actually think he's very sweet. Tom Dingle is a very sweet guy who is uh, definitely out of his element in Los Angeles, and uh, I'm really curious to see whether or not he's going to adapt or if he's going to stand up for himself. Um, well, I produced Englishman in LA and uh, the thing that was really fun for me was organizing um, all the different aspects of the production. So I was also cinematographer and so I arranged the technical side as well as organizing props and actors, um, kind of creating schedules for them. And uh, so I really had my finger in different pies, so it was really fun to be a part of more than just one aspect of the filmmaking process. My first kiss was terrible. I'm not gonna tell you about that. It was awful. <laughs> Vitality turns me on uh, when someone's enthusiastic and passionate. Um, that really turns me on. My favorite book would have to be uh, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. It's very intriguing and it's romantic, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Who inspires me? I think um, different people inspire me uh, for different reasons. Uh, artists like Dali inspires me. It's not necessarily people in film don't necessarily inspire me. It could be a person, um, how they deal with certain situations. So I always look up to different people based on how they deal with situations. I wanted to be an actor because I like the idea of being objective and getting to, into the mind of somebody else. So I think besides the fact that it kind of, you know, it gives me joy, I think that's kind of intellectually sort of like, a, if I think about it, it's a reason why. I think I see myself as a squirrel, but everyone sees me as a lion. I think it's because of my hair. I just think I run around and do stuff. <laughs> I just see myself as a squirrel. <laughs> so I never thought about that before, but there you go. <laughs>